welcome to Rug Doctor, everyone. Um, today's our fun part where we get to kind of see behind the scenes at Rug Doctor. So I want to introduce you to a few people um, who will really be guiding you through um, Rug Doctor today, talking more about the machines and how they're developed and the power behind uh, the cleaning and uh, the different formulas Rug Doctor has. Um, so you guys will get to learn a lot more about that. Well, this is our engineering lab where we work on more of the uh, mechanical side of the machines. Just a quick tour of the lab. Uh, we have test cells. We do all of the machine and product testing, so we create all of our own cleaning formulas, our cleaning chemistry. of information about the facility. We're at 175,000 square feet. 145 of it is distribution on the other side. This side is the manufacturer, which is about 40,000 and 10,000 in the office. You know, like the just like the manufacturing increase. If you're going to go from 120 to 300 a day, is that scheduled? But what we do is we pack out for about a week, week and a half because we have the times where they'll ship like X amount and increase 50%. So we keep a minimum amount on, on, packed out, ready to go, because you get about two days notice. Mm -hmm. So then we gotta turn it fast. Everybody say rug doctor. <laughs> Here we go. Everybody say rug doctor. <laughs> Today's show, as well as NBC in Chicago, 
He's also Mr. Fix-It on WGN Radio in Chicago and also reaches millions of listeners and viewers each week at his House Smarts Minutes radio segments and House Smarts TV spots. My name is Lou Manfredini. How many of you see me on the Rug Doctor uh, infomercial? I've given a lot of people over the years a lot of different advice about different things and um, mostly because I made a lot of mistakes. There are generations of people that just don't have the money to do it. Maybe they're a homeowner may, or, or they've got a condo or an apartment. They just don't have a place to turn to get this stuff done. And we now have more resources ever, I don't know, like bloggers who are writing about this stuff and so the information is much more uh, available to people. We go in now to buy a car or any kind of product. Today's consumer is far more educated than we've ever been before. Because well, now, of course, doing a good job of cleaning your home and vacuuming your home and what do you, you know, what kind of vacuum are you using? Is it a HEPA, HEPA filtration type of system? But just like the room we're in, there's carpeting. 70% of U.S. homes have it. And uh, most of us don't do a really good job of taking care of it. Because right now in this room with all the stuff that's in the air, you know, the particulates there drops to the carpet and goes inside there and it grabs onto it and I'm not breathing it. So that's awesome. But at some point that thing's gonna fill up and I gotta clean it. This fiber that's in these carpets and how all of the stuff that's made, they make carpeting really well, they really do. And so if you take care of it, it's going to last long. Uh, the EPA wants you to do it every six months. The Carpet Institute wants you to do it every three. And when you say, when people hear that, they're like, three months, I'm not going to clean my carpeting every three months. But if you watch my infomercial with the Rug Doctor and you buy one for $399, the Mighty Pro X3, you will own your own Rug Doctor and be able to do it very cheaply. Is it $399? Okay. Say it where you get it. Double checking on the price. Um, but it does make a difference. And so all of that dirt that collects inside there gets extracted through that hot water extraction, that agitating brush, and you will preserve the life. So from an investment standpoint of what you're gonna invest in this carpeting, there's no reason why wall-to-wall -wall carpeting in your home, even under a home with a lot of kids, a lot of traffic, can't last you 20 years. The vacuum thing is a big one because there's a lot of really junky stuff out there to help you out, all right? Thanks so much, everybody. Oh, you don't have to clap. nice because you can kind of control the amount of fluid you want to use so if you just want to spray a little bit down and then suction it you can just suction it until I mean you can make it you know you can continue to suction it and it'll continue to make it more and more dry our upholstery formula is made to actually not wet out really fast so it gets it doesn't get down in there and spread out because you won't be able to get it out. You know, with the upholstery cleaner, it's really nice because it's kind of small and compact, so if you want to continue to do extra suction, it's very simple to do that. The team that has their hand in the air first We'll have the first opportunity to answer the question. If you get, if you answer correctly, you of course get the point for your team. Um, if you don't answer correctly, the other team will have an opportunity to answer. Team two, you're the winners. Although Reg Doctor has generously agreed to provide machines for everybody here today. So, you're all winners. Everybody say Rug Doctor. Rug Doctor.